What's up beauties, my name is Toasty, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download games faster on Steam. Before I start off this tutorial, I just want to say that this is the best method to download games faster on Steam. The other method that people commonly try to use is using a cheat engine, which is not a good idea because cheat engine is packed full of viruses, which I will show you right now. If you download any version of cheat engine and go into the site VirusTotal, I have a version of cheat engine that I installed 5.6.1. It has 20 viruses in that same in that one file. There's 20 different files, and if you look at any of these, it says unwanted program, unwanted program, riskware, trojan, uh, grayware, which is like a backdoor open candy profile virus, and it's just it's not worth it. Plus, a lot of the people who say that you can download games faster with using Cheat Engine is a scam. Cheat Engine is a local client side downloader. It does not actually affect the Steam download servers. All it does is change a number on your registry when it says when you're downloading. It doesn't actually make games faster. The best way to download games faster on Steam is to go to your settings and bring up this where it says bring up your settings and go to downloads. And then you're going to look download region. Frankfurt, I am currently set to Frankfurt, Germany. My location, I can guarantee you, is not in Frankfurt, Germany. But there is a reason why I chose to download in Frankfurt. If you go to Google and you type Steam Download Servers, and you search it, the first link will come up. It's called Steam Download Status. If you go to this website, it'll pull up a world map showing you all the activity on Steam. Um, for what I chose, I chose Germany, which is right here. This is Germany, if you guys didn't know where that was on the map. Because today, the average download rate was 15.4. If you go over to the United States, it's 32. So, it's actually slightly more fa it's slightly faster in the United States, but the overall percentage of downloading is much higher, which means the servers are going to be slower. So, for this tutorial, I'm going to go to Canada, because Canada is kind of a, like a lighter green area, which means there's, like, there's less load on the server. So the uh, download speed might be faster. So it's a 19.5 megabits per second average downloading speed. But there's only 2.9 people using the entire server. Whereas on the United States it's 19. So for this, we're going to go back to Steam. And we're going to change this to... Where is it? Canada. There it is. Canada. And we're going to go to Montreal because it's kind of like the north part. So then you're just going to hit OK. It's going to restart your Steam. Alright, connecting is Steam. And then you're going to want to go to your law store. And I will just test it for you guys on a free game so you can see that it actually is much faster. Um, I'm just going to pick a random game. So I'll pick Iron Snout. Sure. You can hit play game. It's going to start downloading, and you should notice that it should start downloading a considerable amount faster if you chose the right server. So it's already at 40%, 46%, 54%, 37%, and boom, it's done. Iron Snout has downloaded. So that was absolute ridiculous. That was like maybe a less than 10 seconds download, and I already have a game that I can now launch and play. Which I'm not going to because this game looks fucking stupid. But that's that. So um, if you do that, then it should work out. Also, one more thing that people don't always know about is that you can actually download games and play games at the same time. So you can select this, allow downloads during gameplay, and this is checked. Steam will may initiate and continue downloading updates while you have a game or other Steam app open. So a lot of people don't know about this, but this is actually a really good tool to use because a lot of time when you're downloading a game and you play a game, it pauses your download. So this actually prevents that. It's not a default setting. You actually have to go into Steam and change it. But go ahead and do that because that'll also help your download speed if you want to play games while it's downloading. So there's that. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this helped. Leave a like if it did. And I will come out with a new video soon. So love you guys. Stay beautiful. Peace.